Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to Crystal Barrett's May I Scrap Lift You. She has a list that we can go by, or if we want to do a different one, we can. And I'm going to go by the list some and do a few different ones that I'd already had planned. The super cute layout is by Jen Gagne, who's Kay's mom here on YouTube. And it is the one that I'm going to use for my lift today. And I'm scrapping this photo of my grandson. And I have two of those letters for a title. I do have some Tim Holtz gears that's going on there, but I also have a few that's bigger. And I'm going to use some arrows. There are extra in there. And then those are scraps left over from uh, Matt in the photo. And I also use that one I pointed out on behind the photo too. And this is the one I'm going to use for the layout. And it's Craft Consortium uh, Pastel Grunge, I think is what it's called. I'm using this stencil here, and it is, oh, what is the name of that? My mind's blank. It's the one with the little hook on the top. I, I know, I know. Uh, but I'm just using Stormy Sky to put it on the back. It already has a lot of blue on the back, and I just want to put it kind of faintly on the back instead of it being as plain as it is. Some of those papers are not as plain. I... Oh, this ticket, uh, it was one my mom had in a pad. It's a whole pad. She had had it for years, and she gave it to me. I forgot until I was uh, distressing it. I wasn't going to distress the top because it looks perforated to start with because I tore it out of the pad. But I forgot there was that other little tag, so I went ahead and tore it off since it started to tear off anyhow and thought I'd use it up there in the right-hand corner. I went ahead and cut a bunch of shards out different sizes. Now, when Jen was doing her layout, I remember watching the video. She had another challenge going. I can't remember who for. But it had pieces of paper by certain measurements. And she cut her shards out of those pieces of paper that was part of the challenge. So hers is different from mine. I used one sheet of paper. I know there's a lot of different colors on there. But it's one of the papers in that paper pad. And I just cut a bunch of shards out. And I am going to put some in the top left of the picture. And then to the bottom right of the photo too. And see it's got well a lot of different colors. It depends on what's showing from behind the picture. To uh, what's showing behind a shard. But. Yeah, there's all different colors, and I'm just putting them in there. She has less than I do, but I went ahead and cut them out and thought, I think I want them all. <laughs> I didn't use quite all of them. I came super, super close. There was like a couple left, but uh, yeah, I put them on there. And that was a 12 by 12 paper. So yeah, I cut it all up. And some are skinnier than others because I cut it four by six inches to start with. Then I thought... Oh man, these are going to be really big. So I cut down to three inches and then I cut like two shards out of that. And then I had that one inch by six inch left. And I went ahead and cut shards out of those too. This is one of the arrows that I was talking about. It shows on the outside of that packaging, but a couple of them are just in there because they're arrows. And this one, I almost always back it. So I backed it in the same paper that is the back of the layout. I had to cut into the uh, matching piece so I could back my photo. And so I had plenty of that left. And I am putting it on foam tape. <laughs> on foam tape. And it's going to point toward the photo like her arrows. She has a couple arrows in hers too. Her uh, layout also has some stars. But I decided to go with the gears instead. The picture is Jake, and we're at a local restaurant. It's a steakhouse, but they do have some seafood and other things there. But And Mexican. They do have some Mexican. But they have peanuts. And when you walk through, unless you go right when they open, there's peanuts all over the floor. They do sweep here and there, but generally you see them everywhere. Well, this time we have to wait. Usually we get a, we'd get a table really quick. And so we were sitting there waiting, and Jake noticed that whole barrel was full of peanuts and he says there's peanuts in there he was so surprised 
But uh, yeah, he's tickled too because he really likes to eat the peanuts there and throw the shells in the floor. And I just fixed my camera from it being blurry. I went and looked at it after I got it uploaded onto my laptop and the tape has not moved. I mean, it hasn't moved. The uh, lens has not dropped. So I don't understand why it's blurry today. I'll have to play with it. I mean, if I don't get it fixed, if y'all don't see no more videos, it's because I didn't get it fixed and I didn't buy another camera either. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a tiny bit blurry, but I'd rather fix it if I can. But there's a lot of vintage stuff that's like iron and tin and I don't know what all in there. Plus, there's taxidermy animals way up in the top. Uh, where it's not close to where you're eating, but if you take the time to look up, you can see them up in the rafters in recessed places. But most of the stuff is on the wall where you can see it while you're sitting, so you get different things to look at. So I thought I'd use the gears and the Edison lights uh, to reenact the place there. You can see, well, you can't see because it's a little blurry, but you can see in the photos at the end that uh, behind the uh, barrel, uh, wooden barrel. That's why I use the wood grain. And I did use the wood grain for the title too, but it's got that tin that looks corrugated behind there. And so I use different colors of metal for the gears. Well, I didn't use them today. They were already, uh, cut out and in an envelope. So I just picked and choose. I used a variety of colors. Sometimes I use all the one color of metal, but Today, I used a variety of what I could find in that little envelope. You know, since there's a variety in the restaurant, at least that what I was, that's what I was thinking when I was doing it. I'm, oh, I had that film strip and I cut it out in the blue. And um, I'm just going to place a couple on there. I want to... I thought about using the, you know, 49 market film strip, which would look cute. But since I was die cutting the arrows, I, w I thought I'd go ahead and die cut that too. It's in the same envelope. But I'll oh, miss one arrow. <laughs> I thought, where am I going to put it? And it was too long to go where I wanted it. And then I thought, well, if I tuck it under and make it longer, it could fit right there. So I just cut it in half and put it there. That way I could go ahead and put the second one right below it. And I that uh, gauge that's on there, that is a Tim Holtz one. I think it's just called gauges, and you get a whole bag of them. And uh, plenty to go on your layouts if you want vintage-looking gauges to go on your layout. Some people might think at a glance it's a watch or a clock, but no, these are gauges. And I think I'm getting close to getting done. So while I'm doing that, I want to mention that down there below, we'll, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a playlist. But don't quote me on that. It'll either be a master list of everybody that are doing this or a playlist where everybody can add them to it. I have not checked yet. And this is the first layout I have made for this um, all month long uh Hop, and it's 30 days and it's may I scrap lift you so a bunch of people that crystal is on the list she already asked and everybody could do it mainly they're the ones that do YouTube videos to start with and had put on there one day that we were all willing but then there's a few that you might see here and there that's not on the list so I think I have three or four that I'm going to do that's not on the list. But they said it was fine that I could scrap lift them. I won't be doing it every day, so they will be sporadic, whatever days I can get them done. But yeah, that's it. That's my layout. And I used hers as inspiration. And I did try the points when I was playing with them, trying to figure out how I was going to put them on there. But then I forgot when I actually put them on there to turn them around and have some points showing. But uh, yeah, all mine. And see, I was going to do the shorter ones with the points show showing, so I forgot. I think I was filling in little gaps with them is what made me forget. But make sure you check the playlist or master list down there below. 
and check out everybody else's videos. Lots of fun, a whole month worth of fun and scrap lifting other people's layouts. We can use them as inspiration or of course, scrap them to the T, which I have done. But I hope y'all have a happy scrappy week. Have fun on the hop. Bye.